Have Americans been fed a lie about the dash of Parmesan cheese they put on their favorite pasta dinners? Are you kidding me? Look at your carby noodles, fresh out of the boiling water and gently covered with a tomatoey sauce, gently covered with a creamy sauce. Ah, get a whiff of the fresh herbs sprinkled on top. Now pick up that wedge of slightly tan cheese. Ooh, cheese sweet, glorious. Cheese, right, <clears throat> sorry, that's why I'm here. So what is the lie? And why is Parmesan cheese so rare? And how does it involve monks? A deed in 1612, a calf intestine. Leave your guess in the comments and by the end of the video, you'll know the answers. Parmesan cheese is by far the most commonly consumed grated cheese in the United States. Nearly 195 million Americans identified it as their favorite option in 2020. No pasta dish is truly complete without a dash of Parmesan. But if you live in the U.S., you've probably been using the wrong cheese. Sorry. True Parmesan, or Parmigiano Reggiano, is a rare, hard cheese that comes at the steep price of $12 to $24 per pound. Why is it so expensive? Before we get into that, let's talk about its history, which brings us to the monks. Back in the Middle Ages, Benedictine and Cistercian monks created a longer-lasting cheese that wouldn't melt or go bad. They devised a formula using salt from the Salsa Maggiore mines and milk from cows that belonged to the monasteries. They shaped the cheese into a giant wheel and aged it, creating the sharp, rich, nutty flavor we all know today. As more and more people developed a taste for this delicious cheese, the demand to export it to other parts of Europe rose. And this is when people started to take shortcuts, as they tried to recreate the delicious cheese in other locations without all the painstaking work. So, the Duke of Parma, Renuccio Farnese, wanted to put a stop to this. And this is how the deed of 1612 comes into play. On August 7, 1612, he wrote a deed declaring that Parma was the only official home of Parmesan cheese, and any similar cheeses made anywhere else were imposters. So let's go into more detail about how this delicious cheese is made and why this cheese is so rare. Authentic Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese contains milk only produced in the Parma-Reggio region of Italy, salt, and rennet. What is rennet? Remember the calf intestine? The intestines of young mammals produce rennet. Parmesan cheese uses rennet from calves. Cheesemakers add the rennet before the milk is 20 hours old. The cheese is aged for a year. Then each wheel is brought out and tested by a grader from the Consorzio Parmigiano Reggiano, the official regulator of Parmesan cheese, to make sure it's of the finest quality. How do I get this job? Each wheel of cheese gets stamped to certify its authenticity. Unfortunately, many people have decided not to care about traditions and procedures. They found faster, cheaper ways to make a cheese they thought was close enough to Parmesan. And that brings us back to the U.S. You know, like the stuff sold in green plastic cylinders in the non-cheese section of grocery stores. It contains some of the tastiest ingredients, like delicious potassium sorbate, cheese cultures, and sweet, sweet, sweet cellulose powder derived from some of the finest wood pulp. This stuff is illegal in authentic Parmigiano-Reggiano products. Kraft had to stop selling its Parmesan cheese using that name in Italy. It didn't meet the geographical requirement or the legally protected, regulated definition of Parmesan cheese in Parmigiano Reggiano. The regulators considered it false advertising. Okay, now we have some real and expensive cheese. How about cooking with a unique, expensive spice? What about the most expensive spice, saffron? Why is it so pricey? We have the answer on another episode of Origins of Food.